everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to teach you a technique called dusting. Dusting is used in many salons to help remove your split ends without justifying the length of your hair. It's something you can easily do at home and if you're interested in learning this, then keep on watching. So what you're going to need is a pair of shears, a clip, and a comb. You can go to Sally's and you can get a nice pair of sharp shears for like $9.99. Shears can run you anywhere from $9.99 to like $2,000. <laughs> but stick with Sally's and get a nice sharp pair for like $9.99. A pack of these clips are about $3. And a comb, you can get a single comb for like 75 cents I believe. So, but if you are going to use a pair of scissors that you have at home that you have laying in your drawer or your kitchen drawer, please, please, please make sure that they're sharp because, I mean, first of all, never mind about the kitchen scissors, just because if you get yourself a pair of dull scissors from your kitchen or something like that that you've been using to cut zip ties and stuff like that with and God knows what, then you're just going to give yourself split ends dull scissors will actually do damage to your hair, so just invest in a pair of $9.99 shears at Sally's. That's just, I'm just gonna leave it at that because, yeah, I don't want to give you a bunch of tips and have you be using these janky old scissors from your house. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Really simple. You're just gonna take your hair down, or, you know, take it out, whatever. Excuse my hair, I just I knew I was going to do this today, so it just looks a mess, but my hair is pretty combed out, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take it, take a little section out, leave some in the back, and throw the rest up in a clip. I know you guys have probably seen those, the Split Under Pro, so that's like $250, so today I'm going to teach you how to be your own Split Ender Pro, okay? <laughs> so I'm gonna save you 250 bucks. <clears throat> it is a cool little tool that I, I will be honest, I was like, I was intrigued. But anyways, let's just, let's save us some, ourselves some money. I'm gonna take this little section right here and I'm just gonna run my fingers like this. Keep pushing forward and there's little hairs that are gonna be sticking up. So I'm just gonna cut those, the tips of them off. And this isn't going to justify the length of your hair, which is really cool. I do this a lot. I don't know, like sometimes I'll, I'll watch TV or something like that and just be doing this. It drives my boyfriend crazy because I get little pieces of hair everywhere, but I'm like, I love it. And it's just so satisfying. I've definitely noticed a difference in my hair though. My hair used to be right here. It refused to grow, but keeping your hair split and free like it really helps it grow and also um, you should get some Moroccan oil and put that through your hair try not to use as much heat as possible blow drying is really bad for it you know just use like a leave-in conditioning spray if you are going to blow dry it but the less heat is more I like better for your hair and you do not have to wash your hair every day you don't I, my hair is, can get really greasy, but actually the more you wash it, the more greasier it tends to get because you're constantly manipulating your scalp and that causes oils. So if you seriously try it for like two weeks, wash your hair. I know it sounds gross to those who wash it every day, but go every three days, even every four days. I myself go every five days. Your hair will actually get less greasy. And what you can do is just buy a good, uh, Tresemme has a good, really cheap, uh, dry shampoo. You know, shake up the bottle and just massage it into your, um, to your roots and that'll help absorb some of the oil. But the, all this is going to help your hair grow. So if you're having problems with your hair not growing and stuff like that, then avoid heat at all costs and, you know, your hair is going to love you for it. So, you know, just grab, next you're just going to grab the next section. And you're just going to do the same thing. Just take it in between your fingers like this and just keep on snipping away all those little hairs. You can actually see some of the split ends, but 
all of these, taking all these little ends off, is just gonna make these hairs grow. They're not gonna just snap off, so. Your hair is like cutting itself by just breaking off. So this is just such a good, it's better than getting a haircut. So I highly advise you to do this. So what you're gonna do is obviously you're just gonna keep going around your head and getting all the slims that you possibly can. If you have a really good eye and you can see good close up, you can actually see the split ends and then you can just, you know, you see a little hair and just, you know, individually cut one little piece or something like that. But anyways, that's about it. So you can just go through your whole head and, and do that. All this can cost you probably about like $15 instead of, you know, buying the split end your pro and spending $250 or going to the salon and getting your hair trimmed every month for like, I don't know, some places will charge you like $30 or something like that if your hair is long or something. Who knows? But just take all these tips and just spend $15 and do this yourself. So if you find this video helpful, then give it a thumbs up. And I will be uploading more videos with little tips and tricks like this too to help you save money. Um, so yes, like I said, give it a thumbs up. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe and I will be uploading more videos soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.